Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program to verify whether the given number is a perfect number or not. So let me answer this question with practical demonstration. So how to find out whether the given number in the Java program is a perfect number or not? To understand that, first we have to know what exactly is a perfect number. So what is a perfect number? I'll tell you. So let me take an example here and demonstrate what exactly is a perfect number. Okay. So what is a perfect number? So if you, if for example, take a number, let's say six. Okay. Is this six number a perfect number or not? How to find out? So I need to divide this. Okay. I need to find the divisors of the six using which number, which is less than six. You can divide the six by. Okay. I'm saying less than six. Okay. Try to divide. The first number will be starting from one, right? Six divided by one. Is it divisible? Are you getting the reminder as zero? Yes. I'm getting the reminder as reminder zero is coming here. But if I try to divide this six by two, two, three is a six. Yes. Reminder is again zero, right? Reminder is again zero. Six divided by three, three to the six. Reminder is again zero here. Six divided by four. 6 divided by 4, let's say, 4 ones are 4 and remainder is not 0. So this is not possible. 6 divided by 5, 5 ones are 5 and 1 is a remainder. So remainder is not 0. And 6 divided by 6 should not happen because I'm saying in order to confirm that this particular number is a perfect number, we have to divide the, uh, we have to, okay, we have to find the divisors except the same number, okay. If you try to divide six with six with six, you'll still get the remainder zero. But the condition here is for the perfect number. The condition is, here is, okay, the divisor should not be the same number. Okay, so here one is a divisor which is giving the remainder zero. Two is a divisor which is giving the remainder zero on dividing the number uh, six. Here three is also a divisor which is giving the remainder zero on dividing the six. Okay, so these are the only three divisors we got. Okay, which are less than six which are resulting in the result uh, reminder as zero. So such divisors you have to add. What is the first divisor one? One plus. What is the second divisor? Two. Two plus. What is the third divisor? Three. Three. What is the total guys? Six, which is equal to the number. If you add the divisors of the number which are giving the reminder as zero, such divisors which are less than six, okay? If you add them up and if you are getting the same number as a result, in that case, this number can be said as a perfect number. What if I take another example here? What if I take another example? Let's say, uh, let's say I'll take eight. Let's see what will happen in case of eight. Okay. Eight divided by one. Yes. Reminder will be eight divided by one. Reminder will be zero. That's okay. Eight divided by two. Two fours are eight. Reminder zero. Eight divided by three. Reminder three, uh, three to the six. A reminder will not come as zero. Okay. Eight divided by four. 8 divided by 4, 4 to the 8. So remainder 0 will come. 8 divided by 5. No, 8 divided by 6. No, 8 divided by 7. No, and 8 divided by 8. You should not do because the divisor should be less than 8 only. Okay. Now add this divisors 1 plus 2 plus 4. 1 plus 2 plus 4. You add the divisors and see what is the result here. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Is 7 equal to 8? The resultant of the addition of the divisors of this particular 8 is equal to 8? No. That means 8 is not a perfect number. 8 is not a perfect number, whereas 6 is a perfect number. This how to this is how we have to find out whether the given number is a perfect number or not. So let me practically demonstrate this by writing the Java program to find out whether the given number is a perfect number or not. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and create a new class here. A perfect number demo, I'll say. With main method, I'm going to create. Click on finish. And here inside the main method you write down inside the main method you write down inside the main method you write down uh, scanner to collect the input from the user i'll write this okay to collect a particular number from the user okay user has to enter the number to find out whether that uh, entered number is a perfect number or not okay scanner scanner is equal to new scanner this using the scanner class we can input the we can intake the input from the user during the runtime okay this constructor cannot be empty inside the constructor we have to write system dot in Okay, and now I'd like to collect the number from the user. Scanner dot next int, let's say. Scanner dot next int, I'll say. And here, int 
the number given by the user is number okay and here i'll start writing the logic to find out whether the given number is a perfect number or not first i will say int result is equal to int result is equal to zero okay i'm just giving the result as zero initially now for loop i'll write for int i is equal to one okay divisors are static from one i less than or equal to i less than or equal to number divided by two if you are giving the number as six let's assume this number is six okay you are allowing the devices up to six divided by two what is the how many times six will be divided by two three so up to one two three only it will be allowed okay uh devices cannot be more than half of the number guys so that's okay okay if you want to find the devices they will they will not be more than the number okay you just try that out okay devices cannot be more than that particular number okay if you try to give a number which is more than half of the number as a divisor right it is not possible right you see if you take the if you take six right okay you cannot divide from four okay because something will be left out right something will be left out okay four ones are four and two will be coming okay so definitely a number which is greater than the half of this particular number cannot be a divisor here also eight up to four it is possible from fifth number also it is not possible okay up to four you can say eight divided by two is four up to four we can find out we, there will be the divisors from fifth number also it's not possible because you will get some reminder here okay because more than a num uh, more than the half of the number if you try to divide this particular number definitely you'll get a reminder you'll not get the reminder as zero you'll get some reminder that's the reason they cannot be the divisors which can result in the okay zero as a reminder that's the reason we will check the divisors only up to the half of the number if you give the number as six means the divisors will be checked from one to three one two three three iterations only it will be running okay that's the logic is behind that hope you got it now here what i'm going to write here is i'll check whether if <clears throat> okay if that particular number modulus modulus i is equal to zero if it is equal to zero on dividing this given number by this i i which is one here let's assume okay this i will become the divisor here okay the divisor dividing the number and if you get the reminder as zero here percentile will give you the reminder as you know if it is the particular number is uh, giving the on uh, dividing will give the remainder as zero in that case what i'll do result is equal to result plus i'll add that numbers guys okay i'll add that uh, you know divisors i'll add the divisors to this zero zero plus for example if one is there one less than three one less than or equal to three here equal symbol we have to give one less than or equal to three which is true we'll go inside that number number is what six less assume six modulus one yes one will be divided by if, if you divide uh, six by one you'll get the remainder as zero so result is equal to zero plus one result will become one here in the next iteration i will become two two less than or equal to three is true again okay uh that number six modulus two two three is a six so zero will come as a reminder so we'll go inside result is one one plus two one plus two will become three current result will be three here when i becomes three three less than or equal to three true again we'll go inside three modulus sorry six modulus three three to the six remainder is zero result is equal to three plus three that is six result is six okay now i'll write the logic in the next iteration i will become four four less than three will become false will come out of the for loop here i'll write out if result is equal to number if number is equal to result or result is equal to number then just print out given number is a given number is a perfect number perfect number else i'll write down else i'll write down given number given number is not a perfect number okay given number is not a perfect number run this code right click run as java application and observe that what will be printed it it first it uh, you see this output is asking you to enter the number but we don't know that right so that's the reason what we have to do here is i'll stop this program and run it again so before running the program here i'll write down system.out.println okay enter any number i'll just ask the user to enter any number so that i can interact and give the number and here after intaking the number you can close the scanner object okay as a good practice now run this code right click run as java application this time enter any number if i give six means given number is a perfect number is coming i will give eight here let's see what will happen in case of eight given number is not a perfect number the device is on adding up the devices which are uh, giving the reminder zero for this eight right 
on adding those numbers is, which is not equal to the actual number 8 okay that's the reason it's not a perfect number i'll give 10 here let's see given number is not a perfect number okay fine so let's uh, find some perfect numbers in google uh, give some perfect numbers here you see 28 28 is a perfect number let's find it out whether 28 is a perfect number or not give 28 here given number is a perfect number is coming that means it's proven right the program is working fine so guys this is a code you have to write for finding out whether the given number is a perfect number or not okay so you can take a screenshot of this code and practice in your machine this particular code you can take a screenshot of this code and practice in your machine to practice how to find or check whether the given number is a perfect number or not so hope guys you have taken the screenshot of this particular code to practice in your machine so that's all for this session guys with practical demonstration and theoretical explanation i've answered this question for you in this session so that's all for this session thank you bye bye